Spain can be described as one of the best places on earth with amazing sights and buildings that look like they're from fairy tales. But beyond the captivating landmarks and cultural wonders, Spain is home to an array of confident, independent women who are eagerly searching for meaningful connections with the right companions. In this video, we uncover the best cities in Spain, offering you a chance to meet these fascinating women who are ready to explore the possibilities of love with the perfect match. Before we get right into the video, kindly subscribe to our channel, smash the like button and share so you won't miss any of our fascinating content. Number 10. Barcelona. The city of Barcelona is well known across the globe for various reasons. The first and foremost for being the capital city of Catalonia. It is also the largest city in Catalonia. Barcelona is often compared to the city of Madrid, which is the capital city of Spain. Barcelona is a hub for various political, financial, educational and cultural activities. The women of Barcelona can be stereotyped in numerous ways. Firstly, the women of Barcelona and Spain in general have been subjected to much of the media spotlight after they were seen in various forms of pop culture by the different parts of the world. These women have constantly topped the charts of being the most desirable, which is mostly true. The physical beauty of the women of Barcelona is such that one simply cannot help but observe them, admire them, and fantasize about them. The women are always up for a chat. They will pretty much like to have a conversation with anybody. Therefore, as a stranger and a tourist, you too could walk up to them, initiate a conversation, and if you manage to catch their interest, you shall have a conversation of at least half an hour. They are also undoubtedly social animals, and they are afraid of being alone. This is why you will find a lot of women in Barcelona willing to foot a man's bills just to have a companion for life. Number 9. Valencia. Valencia is a port city on Spain's southeastern coast on the estuary of Turia River and the Mediterranean Sea. It is the third largest city of Spain after Madrid and Barcelona, and is also the capital of the autonomous community of Valencia. It is famous for its city of arts and sciences, with a planetarium, oceanarium and futuristic buildings. Spanish girls are truly an adventure. Stunning and friendly but not feminine and with loads of attitude, Spanish girls in Valencia are a mystery that you need to unveil. They love delicious food, good music and dance, especially salsa. Conservative nature is not something you will find with girls in a big city like Valencia. In spite of not being feminine, Spanish girls are very keen about marriage and living together with families. The liberal culture of Spain alone adds to the liberalization and social nature of the girls. Upbringing and social stereotypes are also important factors that determine a girl's attitude. Almost all local girls have grown up without any restrictions and zero social stereotypes. Therefore, Spanish girls are liberal and friendly. Aside from being liberal and pretty, these Spanish women are well-educated and earn a good amount of money. They're also looking for real and deep relationships, not just something casual. Even if you're not from Spain, they are quite liberal and would give you a chance. They want to find partners who are serious about building a meaningful connection. So, if you're up for a liberal woman that doesn't have any problems with footing your bills and giving you comfort, Valencia might be a good place to be. Number 8. Seville. Seville is the capital of the Andalusia region of Spain and is famous for its flamenco dancing. Located on the lower reaches of the Guadalquivir River, Seville is the largest city in the Andalusia region and the fourth largest city of Spain. The Old Town of Seville has three World UNESCO sites, the Cathedral of St. Mary of the Sea, the Alcazar Palace Complex, and the General Archive of the Indies. Most of the girls you will find in Seville are Spanish, apart from the summers where foreigners may equal or outnumber the local population. Spanish girls are unique and have their own characteristic features. They will not mind dating 30-year-old dudes living with their parents as long as they have the right personality and are committed. These ladies tend to be well-educated and won't mind providing financial assistance in a relationship or paying the bills. Number 7. Villarreal. Villarreal is a municipality located in the province of Castellón, which is part of the Valencian community. It is situated on the eastern coast of Spain. One of the notable features of Villarreal is its football club, Villarreal CF, which competes in La Liga, the top tier of Spanish football. The city is known for its historical and cultural heritage, and it has a mix of modern and traditional architecture. Villarreal girls tend to be more adventurous. Given that their nation is a popular tourist destination and that they should be accustomed to interacting with strangers and other people all year long, this should be expected of them. 
These girls have exotic attractiveness in terms of their physical characteristics. They are renowned for having a variety of skin tones, which can range from light brown to light off-white. They also have an outstanding degree of education, and their intelligence is admirable. They can hold educated discussions on a wide range of topics because they have a comprehensive understanding of what is going on in the world. With these women, you can expect one of the best times and you won't need a fat account to get by. Number six, Madrid. Madrid is the capital of Spain and home to many world-renowned tourists' attractions. As the Spanish have made an impact in many different regions around the world, many see it as a pilgrimage to their roots, which invites lots of Latin Americans into the culture-rich capital. With so many sights and wonderful experiences, Madrid has won its place in the hearts of many. Girls in Madrid are a sight to behold. They are absolutely gorgeous. Spanish girls are like social butterflies, and they tend to be very friendly and welcoming. The personalities of the ladies you will meet in Madrid tend to vary. Expect fiery, passionate personalities with a sincere conviction and a mischievous love for fun. Sometimes you may find the girls a bit too energetic. However, for the most part, Madrid girls are loads of fun. They're fun friends and the passion in their souls makes them even better lovers. You will also find wealthier Latin girls sent to Spain to study or for school, as well as well-educated local girls in high-earning industries. Most women are open to making love with the natives and tourists both, although this is one thing that might differ from person to person. Number 5. Santa Cruz de Tenerife Santa Cruz de Tenerife is the capital city of the island of Tenerife, located in the Canary Islands. It is a vibrant and diverse city known for its beautiful beaches, rich culture and warm climate. Girls in Santa Cruz de Tenerife are integral to the city's identity, contributing to its unique charm and energy. One of the most striking things about girls in Santa Cruz de Tenerife is their beauty. Tenerife is known for its stunning natural landscapes, and girls in the city embody this beauty with their sun-kissed skin, sparkling eyes and confident smiles. They take pride in their appearance and enjoy dressing up, especially for special occasions such as festivals or parties. Another notable characteristic of girls in Santa Cruz de Tenerife is their love of music and dance. The city has a rich musical tradition and girls are often seen dancing to the rhythm of the island's distinctive music. Salsa, reggaeton and flamenco are popular dance styles. Girls often gather in clubs and bars to dance the night away. Getting neighborhood ladies in Santa Cruz de Tenerife can be a brilliant encounter. The town is brimming with comfortable lounges and enchanting eateries, where locals and travelers assemble to partake in the casual environment of flavorful food. You might end up discussing with a lady while tasting a bistro con leche at a walkway bistro, or perusing the new produce at the neighborhood market. Likewise, neighborhood ladies appreciate going for strolls along the oceanside or through the nearby professional flower beds. These can be incredible spots to get new ladies and initiate a discussion. As the dusks, the town wakes up with various nightlife choices that accommodate all preferences. From personal bars with unrecorded music to clamoring clubs that stay open until sunrise, Santa Cruz de Tenerife has something for everybody. The nearby ladies are often seen wearing brilliant and jazzy outfits, prepared to move the night away and associate with new individuals. Number 4. Elche Elche is a charming city located in the province of Elche, Spain. It is known for its palm groves, UNESCO World Heritage Sites, and vibrant cultural scene. Girls in Elche grow up in a city celebrating its rich cultural heritage. From the annual Misteri Delks Festival, which dates back to the Middle Ages, to the impressive archaeological museum, Elche is a city that takes pride in its past. For young girls growing up in Elche, this means they have access to a wealth of knowledge and resources that enable them to appreciate history, art, and culture. Girls in Elche are fortunate to grow up in a city celebrating its past while embracing innovation and diversity. They can access high-quality education, cultural experiences, and opportunities to pursue their passions. These factors make Elche an excellent place for girls to grow, learn, and thrive. With regards to getting young ladies in Elche, you need to comprehend you want to have persistence and attempt to grasp the idea of the young Spanish lady. There are numerous vacation destinations in Elche and many bars and cafes where you can get young ladies. Moreover, these ladies are not extremely bashful and are prepared to start talks even with a more unusual outsider. They are always available for discussions and moving toward these girls is easy. Number 3. Ibiza 
Ibiza is a Spanish island located in the Mediterranean Sea, off the eastern coast of Spain. The island is an epitome of beauty and aesthetically pleasing views in every possible way. This also includes the scores of attractive women that one shall find in Ibiza, partying their way through the day and the night. The women who hail from Ibiza are known to be very open and friendly. Most of the locals are used to the crazy parties and the debauchery that takes place almost every single day of the year. You could draw parallels to the women who hail from the city of Las Vegas. Being raised in a party environment, most of the women have grown up in the culture itself. There is a high probability that the women have parents who are actively involved in making the city the party destination it is. That would imply that they, in some form of job, cater to these wild parties that have been the USP of the city. Thereby, most of these women have grown up seeing the beautiful mess that the island is. Many of these women love socializing and are most certainly extroverts. In addition to this, they hate being alone as well. This means you won't have a hard time meeting someone in this city. Number two, Granada. Granada is a city which is situated in the country of Spain. Located exactly in the province of Granada, it is also the capital city of it. In addition to this, the city comes within the autonomous community of Andalusia. Positioned at the foot of the Sierra Nevada mountains, the city of Granada is strategically located as it is also at the point of confluence of four rivers, namely the Monaquil, the Genil, the Biro, and the Daro. The women who hail from the city of Granada, just any other Spanish city, are known to be very beautiful. There is no debate about this, and any tourist who travels to the city shall soon realize this. To begin with, there are several women who look like the ones that you have seen on television and movies over the years. All forms of literature, movies and music videos shall immediately come to your mind as you walk down the streets of Granada, passing one beauty after another. The average Spanish beauty is known to be very friendly, highly interactive and an extrovert. However, most of these women are Catholics and known to be raised in a very liberal environment. On the other hand, in Granada, there is a sizable population of Muslim women. They are conservative and partially introvert. The former is known to be very open and approachable. They love sharing their feelings, their thoughts and their emotions. While the latter do not express themselves too much, nor do they share much about themselves. One can directly interpret this to be an influence of religion and its teachings. The women in Granada are sufficiently educated and this is a direct result of the compulsory education system of Spain. For their higher education degree, they are free to apply to any course and university that they deem is fit. The University of Granada is one such university here that is not just renowned in the province, but also across the country. The women often graduate and are employed in well-paying jobs. This gives these women financial independence as well. Number one, Mallorca. The island of Mallorca is situated in the country of Spain. Being the largest island among the Balearic Islands, Mallorca has carved a niche for itself among the Mediterranean region. With scenic places to visit on the island, various popular tourist attractions, including hotels, restaurants and beaches, it attracts more than 35 million people each year. The women who hail from the island of Mallorca are very Spanish in their approach towards life. The women love living life on the largest canvas that there is. The women are warm, friendly and approachable. They are absolute extroverts. They love having a fun conversation. The women are greatly interested in food, different types of cuisine. They are always up to go and grab a meal. Undoubtedly, all of these characteristics and the fact that they tend to be financially stable makes the women perfect for many tourists and travelers who are headed to Mallorca to have a good time with these women. Keep in mind that the average woman from Mallorca is used to the spotlight. They are known to be very friendly and this is reiterated when they interact with the tourists who they have seen thronging on the island for decades altogether. The average Mallorca woman is also more open and liberal than their counterparts on the mainland, as these women have extra exposure to a global audience on a personal basis. While they are hospitable and kind among many other things, these women are also fierce and known to be vocal about their opinions. They have a firm stance and they have staunch views. You would have to be very confident if you want to get a lady in this city. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video to make sure you don't miss out on any future amazing content. Thanks for watching.